We're here today to take a look at the myth that it's actually better to throw things away than it is to recycle them, based on the costs of doing so. What do you think, Kyle? Oh, I definitely think that's going to be busted. You? I don't know. I mean, I think they might have something. At least for some types of material. Maybe plastic? Yeah, you're right. We should probably uh, break this down into smaller parts and take a look at glass, metal, plastic, paper, and see what kind of numbers we get. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. So, here's what I've found. Paper products are recycled by being pulped down, remade into a lower quality paper product. So, for example, what started as a high quality piece of printer paper might then be turned into a cardboard box, then into a newspaper, and finally into toilet paper, depending on a variety of factors. Using old paper instead of new wood can save a bunch. Recycling one ton of paper the amount that one person uses every two and a half years saves 17 trees and 7,000 gallons of water. And that's not all. Recycling is better monetarily as well. It costs $15 per ton more to landfill paper trash than it does to recycle or compost it. Paper is definitely busted. Plastic was the one I thought might be confirmed, but actually, it's a lot harder to find the benefit with this one. Like paper, plastic can be broken down into levels of quality. This can be both the numbers that you sometimes see, but also plastics without a number, like plastic wrap. Plastics like plastic bottles are well worth the recycling effort. For example, the state of Oregon has a deposit on beverage bottles to help ensure that they're recycled in the community. Other types of plastic, not so much. The cost to recycle some types of hard plastic means that many places just don't do it. It isn't worth the cost, and while 4% of our energy use in the United States is in refining plastic, many hard plastics just aren't worth the money to recycle. So we'll call it plausible. Depending on your type of plastic, it might not be worth the money to recycle it. But that being said, if you can recycle it, you should. Metal is an interesting one, as it's a non-renewable resource which can run out. While this alone is reason enough to recycle it, let's take a look at the cost associated with it. Aluminum cans, one of the most common items, have an incredible energy difference. For each can recycled, enough energy is saved to power a computer or television for three hours. It's about a 95% energy savings over creating a new can. Metal? Busted without a doubt. Finally, glass is an interesting one to take a look at. It really depends on where you are. Some places take glass, crush it down, and use it as a base for roadways. This isn't really recycling it, but better than just dumping it in the landfill. Of course, some places do recycle glass. And I do so by breaking it down into cullet, or basically broken glass. For every 10% of cullet that is used in glass creation, the energy costs decrease 2-3%. to 3%. So by using 50% cullet, you can make more than 10% more bottles for the same energy cost. Doesn't buy much, but glass is definitely busted. 